Well, uh, Your Excellency, one of the things that, you know, has agitated a number of people, myself definitely inclusive, is the primary responsibility of the police, you know. Um, the Police Act says clearly that the function, the primary function of the police is to prevent and detect crime. But it would seem like... Uh, we don't even, we, we, we concentrate on fighting the crime as opposed to preventing it. Since the state governors are calling for state police, how do you think we can change the trajectory to ensure that this is done as opposed to spending money to f fight rather than prevent? Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, you've touched on one very sensitive area, and that is, you know, preventive uh, of, you know, crimes. And uh, I think that uh, the level of crimes in the country is as a result of uh, unpatriotic act, you know, of uh, a lot of us. Uh, we leaders, we come out, you know, in television, and then we speak. I indict other regions, you know, we speak against other regions. We pick on, you know, on the leader of the country and then casket the leader of the country and all kinds of stuff, you know. There's no patriotism at all. And so the, uh, uh, the, the, the way to prevent this thing is that if you are making, you know, uh, unsubstantiated, you know, statements in the social media, the police, the SSS, you should be invited to explain. And this is no politics. Because the country cannot fold our hands and allow people to plunge, you know, uh, the country into another war. This is very important. And this is one area because they, they, I was told that one of the you know, world wars started with a family quarrel. And so if you are making a statement in social media and they call it freedom of uh, speech, you must come to the law to substantiate it. What I have back in the state now should have, the communal crisis would have stopped. But for the politicians who are making unguarded uh, accusations and statements in social media, and then people outside the state who darken council without knowledge, we just cash on that and the motion will rise and the, the problem will continue. So this is the problem. And when we talk about police, you know, preventing and doing this and that, you know, you see, security is everybody's problem. People move up and down with police, you know, going to host uh, events, host uh, this, and, and then talk in such a manner that is dividing this country. It should not be allowed to be so. Never in the history of this country have we been so divided because of politics, because people want power by all means. So preventing uh, uh, crime is the duty of everybody. And even if you multiply police by 1,000 in this country and uh, you don't have the cooperation of the people, it is very difficult. Well, Your Excellency, perhaps that also kind of suggests that there is a, a different law for Nigerians and another one entirely for politicians. Because if an ordinary civilian, for instance, would make such inflammatory you know, comments, most certainly the person would have been picked up. And this same thing that you have said has been said by so many other politicians and political leaders. So in that light, what kind of conversation should we be having with the political class to forestall these kind of activities? The truth is that, um, you know, we, the leaders of this country, um, we have to truly, truly, you know, have the fear of God. What we present in the public is different from our hearts, is different from what happens in realities, you know. And uh, I wouldn't, you know, advocate, you know, for freedom of speech for somebody in the name of politics to plunge the country into crisis. I think there is a need for the leaders, politicians, to wear their words and be able to defend whatever accusation or whatever information they're addition to the uh, public. This is very important. An American says that my conscience, you know, that my patriotism is not to my conscience, nor to my president, nor to my, you know, state, but it's to my country. Until we leaders of this country begin to have, you know, patriotism, you know, that is, uh, you know, rooted to the existence of this country and to our children, you know, and to the unborn children of this nation. That is where we begin to say we have a country. You know, in this country now we make laws that we suit our tenor, but that is very unpatriotic. So patriotism is very much needed. And I think that there should be a common denominator for everyone making statement in public that you should be able to defend it. 
And uh, uh, the, the, we should also be warned as politicians that if Mr. President goes all out to do this, oh, they will say, oh, this is anarchy, so and so forth, you know. So the press should also be able to put a control in this direction.